Good morning, everyone. My name is Theon Gruber Ford, and I am the Associate Director for our ACE Scholars Program, which is a part of the Office of Undergraduate Studies. Uh, so let's start off first with discussing the mission of a scholars program. The mission is to provide information, support, and advising to honors program and all high achieving students to promote awareness, application, and competitiveness for national prestigious awards and fellowships. So let's talk a little bit about what national prestigious awards and fellowships are. So another name for national prestigious awards and fellowships are merit award opportunities. And the difference between merit award opportunities and let's say your typical scholarship is that the merit award opportunity is based on merit and solely merit. So that means what you do at Howard University, how you excel, that is what is going to make you competitive for these wonderful opportunities that I'm going to tell you a little bit about right now. So what are merit awards? They are funding opportunities that are established to pay for a unique experience related to your personal and or professional growth. As I said before, they are based on merit and outstanding achievements. In terms of some of the opportunities that are funded by merit awards, study abroad funding. And let me also mention the funding tends to be very generous. Research funding, graduate school funding, either within the United States or outside of the United States, depending on your interests, your goals, and your ambitions. So if you look at my screen, you'll see some of the more popular merit award opportunities that are out there. And let me also emphasize that merit award opportunities are nationally based. So you would be competing with students across the United States for these opportunities. And that's why the office is here to help you to become as competitive as possible for these opportunities. So let's talk first about the Fulbright opportunity, which is one of the most popular, um, particularly in our Howard group. Um, and the Fulbright opportunity is a, a merit award opportunity that is funded by the State Department. You get the chance to pursue the option to teach English in a foreign language. Um, you could study and pursue a uh, degree outside of the United States, such as a master's program. Um, you could also propose a research project. Again, this is fully funded by the Fulbright program. We have our Rhodes Scholarship, where you go on to Oxford University to pursue a master's or perhaps start a PhD, and you're funded to do that. Um, recently, we received our second Schwartzman Scholar, who is gonna be off to China at one of their most prestigious universities to uh, pursue a master's in global affairs. If you're interested in languages, if you are interested in increasing your language competency, we have the CLS, uh, also known as the Critical Language Scholarship that offers you the opportunity for a summer immersion program fully funded um, in a country where that language is spoken in order to improve your own proficiency. So these are some of the award opportunities that my office uh, works with you to be competitive for. Now I know you are incoming freshmen and let me also say welcome. We're so happy that you've chosen Howard. But I also want you to keep in mind that the effort 
and the time that you put into building a strong experience at Howard University is what is going to set you up at the end um, as a rising senior for some of these awards so that it's not only doing well at Howard while you're there, but also preparing for the future and your postgraduate experiences. So why apply for merit awards? You are able to attain knowledge to help further your academic study and future career. You increase opportunities to network with people in your field of interest. You receive funds to cover tuition and or research projects. You distinguish yourself on a national and international level, and you earn recognition for yourself and the university. So these are some of the, the wonderful perks um, of merit award opportunities. Now, the question I'm sure that you have in your mind is, well, how do I become competitive for these awards? Well, first, I always emphasize the freshman year, focus on your academics, because that is the baseline in terms of being competitive. You want to make sure that you're acclimatizing to the new way of living outside of high school and now in the college sphere. Um, so get acclimatized your freshman year, focus on trying to get that 3.5 or above. Once you feel comfortable with that and you're moving into your sophomore year, and we're going to start talking about community and unselfish service. And as many of you might know, Howard University has many, many opportunities to be engaged in unselfish service and volunteerism. This is thought of highly in terms of applying for merit award opportunities. You want to go to your career fairs. You want to start getting internships, especially those aligned with your interests and your academic and professional goals. Leadership initiatives, what are you interested in? What kind of change would you like to make within society? Think about that. Think about the clubs that we have at Howard University. How do you, which ones do you wanna be a part of? And what do you want your outcome and your input to be as a part of that club? Study abroad. We have the wonderful Bunch Center, uh, which is our hub for all things study abroad, go over there, take a time, take a moment, find out what study abroad opportunities are out there and know that there are oftentimes very generous funding for you to travel outside of the United States and have those experiences. If you're interested in research, start engaging, start talking to your professors about undergraduate research opportunities. We have many opportunities on campus to do research either within Howard University or through a variety of colloquiums across the uh, United States. Know that while we do work with honors um, students, we also work with all high achieving students. So that is the emphasis on that 3.5 or above. So put in the time, put in the effort, know that our office is here to support you. We work university-wide. Now, I have included this slide to show um, our achievements and, and our students' achievements in the last few years from 2016 to the present. Uh, we've had a Rhodes Scholar went off to Oxford University and had uh, an amazing time. Uh, Schwarzman Scholar, who went off, two of them, and studied and received their degrees in uh, global affairs in China. Uh, Marshall Scholars that went to the UK, fully funded to pursue their master's program. Goldwater Scholars, who are STEM majors, who had the wonderful opportunity to get great research experience and funding that will support them through their time at Howard University. Uh, Truman Scholars, if you are interested in public service, the Truman Scholarship will pay for you to pursue graduate studies in the United States at a university of your choice. Loose Scholars who are off in Asia pursuing their own interests, again, fully funded. 
Now know that the work that you do to apply for these awards in terms of the high impact practices, in terms of keeping up that high GPA, in terms of meeting with me and having conversations about the merit award opportunities that you feel would be a good fit for you and how to start building up those high impact practices, this stays with you regardless of whether that award becomes yours or your semifinalist or not. This is our list of some of our students who have worked with the office, who did not win an award, but went on to a variety of different institutions listed here and received either full scholarships or partial scholarships. And I want to emphasize that what happens in the process of working with A Scholars programs is that you build certain skills, telling your narrative, telling your story, writing that on paper, practicing that, um, building up your, your portfolio, getting in internships, doing the research, getting that high GPA. All of this stays with you, regardless of getting a merit award or not. So once you know that, you know that the process of going through working with a scholars program is a win-win. This information stays with you for life and helps you to um, move on to a variety of other postgraduate experiences. We have a variety of resources to help you in this process. Of course, you have personalized advising and assistance with applications from me, but we also have an annual application retreat where you get to meet past recipients of award opportunities that can talk to you about their process, um, what they did over the four years in order to be competitive. We have a guidebook with a wealth of information uh, for you to go through and get an understanding of what it takes to be competitive for these awards, et cetera. You are in this, well, we are in this together. So I am located in the Carnegie building with the rest of the Office of Undergraduate Studies, room 213B. My email address is there. Um, I just wanna say welcome, welcome, welcome. We're so happy that you have chosen Howard University and I look forward to working with many of you, uh, hopefully in the future. Thank you.